Good morning, y'all. How are you? Today is Wednesday. It is early release Wednesday for my kids. I hate early release days. I hate days off of school for them. It's just so hard and difficult. But I'm cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. And I figured I would talk to you because why not? I've been obsessed lately with watching um, Grace and Frankie. I know it's super old and everything, but it is, it's funny. It's really funny. Um, I'm going to show you, I think later tonight for dinner, I'm going to make some tuna patties for dinner, for dinner, for dinner. So I'll show you how I make, not how I make them, but how my mother makes them. So I'm going to try to do that as well. I'm going to try to make some. I don't think I've ever made them. I mean, it's simple. It's just, you know, the tuna, some onions. salt and pepper, I think an egg and a little bit of flour, I believe. That's it. Didn't really do much this morning. I have to put, I have to make Saturn. That's the last planet that I have to make. Um, wanted you to see my cute invitations for Garrett's birthday party. I put up a video of what I did and how it took me forever to figure out something because I don't like to send just a paper invitation I mean I usually do when I have the sorry I don't know what I was talking about my mom called because we're having it is so hard to like have two kids that go to totally separate schools that are within that are like 30 minutes apart it is so difficult we had it to where where we used to live at my mom's house we were able to register my daughter for an amazing school that is, you know, far away, not far away from my mom's house, probably 15, 20 minutes in that direction. So here's my mom's house, here's the other house. Now here's my mom's house, we're like over here, and then my son's school is like 20 minutes that direction from my mom's house. He's been going there since he was two because he has special needs, it is a special needs school. It's not like I can just pick him up and take him somewhere else. With hers, I hated the school she was at last year. It was so bougie. I just couldn't stand it. Now she's at an A plus school. It's a school of the arts. It's amazing. What is that? It's like people are beating on my door, but they're not. Anyway, we had the bus issue for the first like two weeks of school. Garrett gets picked up right outside here of our house where we are at because it doesn't matter where he lives, he can still get a ride to school. Her school, because of where it is, we are not zoned for it here, but we're zoned at my mom's house. So I have to drive to my mom's house at like 6.30 in the morning, wait for her bus, which is supposed to be there at 6.55, and Garrett's bus is supposed to be here at 7.20, which would be okay because it takes me about 10, to 15 minutes to get back here. But since they only have kids for that school on Garrett's bus, which there's only like maybe 10 kids on the bus, 15 kids, she's been getting here early, like seven o'clock early. And Amelia's bus has been running late, like 20 to 30 minutes late still. And we're on like the fourth, fifth week of school. So it's been tough. It's been really tough to figure out this scheduling. And today is early release. And Garrett's school changed this year to get out earlier than they had been. Not by much, but like 15 minutes. So he gets out at 1230. She gets out at 1. They're in two different cities. Like 45 minutes apart from one end to the other. It's such a hassle. Such a hassle. When they go on vacation, I don't know what I'm going to do. Picking them up. But I figured I would show you some of my decorations for his party because he wants to do a space theme birthday party. And I'm kind of glad because we've done like three dinosaur ones. They've all been different. And he really wanted Hungry Caterpillar, <clears throat> which I'm cool with. You know, being autistic, you like things that maybe babies would like or that, you know, when you're going to be seven, your seven-year-old friends don't like. Whatever. 
So I'm gonna show you, it's planets, right? So I'm gonna do planets. I've already made the sun, the earth, a little moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, or like he calls it, it's Uranus. I've done those. <clears throat> so I'll show you real quick. Hang on, I have to let some light get in here. It's super dark. My house is a mess still. Here's my sun. And because I'm gonna put the sun on this wall, I'm gonna have, I have to go to Hobby Lobby to get the, <clears throat> excuse me, background that's got like little tiny, it's like galaxy, I think it's called. So I made a sun. I'm gonna put it on the wall. I have to find a way to put the things on the side. Here is my, what is this? Jupiter. Don't know the planets exactly, but you know, I have all my little planets. Made my earth. This beast was a pain to try to do. So we've got earth, got all my stuff. You know, there's my flowers I made the other day. And I have to work on, this is gonna be Saturn. And it's gonna have its little rings and all that good stuff. The moon was starting, it was drying because the moon apparently is really tiny. Wouldn't know. Got a couple rockets I'm working on for the walls. And you know, we're gonna be good. The, my daughter just had a birthday in June. We did Peppa Pig. I can show you the cutouts that I made. That was not fun, that was a hassle. I like to do homemade stuff for the birthday parties. I think his last um, dinosaur party, I made a big, homie was like this tall, a big old paper mache dinosaur out of, I mean, he had feet and arms and legs. I don't even know if I have a picture. I'll have to see if I can find a picture. But with Peppa, I just did cardboard cutouts and put it out. I'm trying to do stuff very simple because I like to do like, Streamers, we had a Wizard of Oz birthday party, my favorite movie for my daughter for her first birthday because she has no say and it's my favorite movie. So I picked the theme and I had like a giant rainbow in the dining room that was streamer, streamer, streamers. I mean, I like to have everything decorated and themed and I'm trying to be better with the party planning because it's stressful for me. I have all these ideas and Pinterest is my friend, yet my enemy. So I have a banner coming. It's a space theme from Oriental Trading. It's gonna go on the wall or the fireplace, not sure yet. I have little lollipops that are coming that are the earth, a spaceship, and a little astronaut helmet. And I have plates that are space theme. And that's pretty much the only space theme that I'm doing. I'm gonna have, I have black tablecloths. I have the door fringe that I'm gonna put out in the hallway when you come in. So you have to like walk through it. You know, and that's kind of it. I like, she, we did Peppa for my daughter. Like I said, I had the cutouts outside. I had a Peppa banner and I had Peppa plates. That was it. And for her birthday, I made a Mr. Uh, one of the TVs just like off of Peppa put a Mr. Potato in it, and then I made Goldie the Fish's um, fish food for favors. Let me see if I have one still. I may still have one, here we go. Because they look like little fish shakers, right? It's cute, I mean, it could be cuter, but see, it's like the Goldie the Fish. So, I have to hide the candy. That's what I did. I will show you, I will make a little video, maybe, of seeing it. I have got to do some. I've got to get fall hair, cause this blonde, I am so over it. I don't use the special shampoo I guess you're supposed to use. And it's, my hair has grown out like so much in the past three months. May, it is now September. That's the last time I got my hair done. It's bad, it's so bad. I'm not liking this color anymore, but it's better than it was when we first got all the red out because I looked like Ronald McDonald. It was disgusting. But that was, that's today, that's so far. I have to go, what time is it? 11.30, already, I feel like we just got up. I hate early release days, I hate them. They just make my day suck. <sighs> I'm not complaining. I mean, I am, but I'm not, whatever. I'm in a better mood today. Like I was gonna, 
Okay, the point, one of the points of this was that I've been watching several people's videos about like gluten and stuff. And I looked it up last night and like the 14 signs of being gluten intolerant, which I've never thought about. I mean, I've always had like stomach issues. I thought I had IBS when I was younger, younger, whatever. But the I looked up a website with symptoms because I was curious at what the real symptoms were. And there was 14. I have 10 out of the 14 symptoms for possibly having a gluten intolerance. And I'm like, maybe that's my problem. Maybe keto isn't gonna help me. You know, I know that they could possibly be gluten free with a lot of stuff. Well, obviously, duh. But it just, because I have no gallbladder, it kicks my butt and it gives me the worst pain every single time that I try to do it and I stay on it for more than a couple days. So that might be my new journey is to try to do gluten-free stuff because you can still do a pasta and a macaroni and cheese and a potato and things like that. And we'll see how it works. That's gonna be a new thing that I might try. Might work, might not. Might just be fat my whole life because I'm very unhappy right now. Like this is the pickest I've ever been and I'm so upset, I'm so uncomfortable in driving and sitting and just everything, so uncomfortable. So we'll see how it works. I will keep you updated. So that's pretty much it for right now. Um, I will tell you really quick about these. My opinion on invitations, I do send out just the card that I print out. Most times I do that. But when I can sit and think and brainstorm ideas, like for my last dinosaur party I did, I got a manila folder, filled it with the worms from Dollar Tree, not worm worms, but you know, the paper worms. Got little dinosaurs, wrapped the invitation up and tied it to the dinosaur, put like some, you know, candy in it, put like a warning label on it and a dinosaur head from Jurassic Park and send it. Because to me, if you were to get this, as an invitation to a birthday party, even for a little kid, your niece, nephew, whatever, you would be, I would be more inclined to go because the person put time and thought and effort into, excuse me, giving this to me instead of just being like, here's a card or the thing I hate the most, which I do when I can't get it to people, is either text a picture of the invitation or email it to them. I know a lot of people do it, the convenience is amazing, but I hate it. I want like a thing. And I like to do both. <clears throat> I like to let the people know, and then I like to send it. That way they have a thing to put on their wall or their refrigerator, that way they can see it like a hard copy, not just a text message that you forget about and two weeks later, oh dang, that was today. I take my party planning seriously and it's not great. It's not super awesome, but I'll see if I can find some pictures. I have to scour Instagram and stuff and see if I can find some, but sorry this was really long. Sorry it's just rambling. I had a lot of coffee today. I think I had, what did I do in my coffee pot? I think I filled it to six cups. But I might show you the dinner stuff, maybe. I think that's what I'm gonna make, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for just letting me babble. Bye.
man. No, I'm the thing.